the executive uh, branch, uh, board of selectmen, town manager, budget committee, trustees of the trust funds. Fred? Uh, Mr. Chairman, the selectmen uh, have a budget of $16,300. That, that includes the $15,000 that we pay for our five board members. Uh, during the course of the year, there's $1,300 worth of expenses. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't normally spend the entire $1,300, but uh, the, the five-year average is $1,129, so we're pretty close. Um, that goes for special things like uh, flowers for members of the city government or town government who pass away, uh, state representatives or et cetera, who we lose, uh, and special occasions. The board may go to a meeting. Is an expense for that meeting, we pay for that out of that fund. Uh, the second part of the executive is the town manager's so-called budget, which includes the town manager, the deputy town manager, and the administrative assistant. Uh, that budget may change depending on what the board does for the manager and deputy manager's salaries. It hasn't been done yet this year. Not not asking you to do anything. I'm just saying it may change if you do that. Um, the budget committee is, is a separate entity. They have their own budget. They usually set that budget at their first yeah. meeting when they do the, the general budget of the town. So this is what they had in there this past year. So we just left it in. And the same with trustees of trust funds. Uh, basically, they keep it pretty flat at $1,000 a year. That just sort of summarizes everything that's here, Mr. Chairman. Any questions <coughs> by anybody? I have a question. Yeah, Regina. We were talking about how we do the contract negotiations now and Christina's part in that. How how, uh, how much do you think that adds to her uh, workload to do that? It's something that is just generally part of her workload and it's been going on now for several years uh, and I'm not hearing any complaints about it. It's, it's not easy work, yeah. I have to tell you. It's just not easy work. Yeah. Finance director is involved in that as well Right. Uh, because we have to have the financial people. We have to have somebody who's skilled at putting together the, uh, the material, you know, with a computer, et cetera, et cetera. She also does the town report, and she types the entire town report. Wow. That's all camera ready. It's oh. all done here. That's why we get such a good price in the town report. Wow. So there's a lot of work entailed in her job, uh, and she does. No, I can't even get. I we we'd be here for over an hour just describing the various things she does. And they increased her hours from thirty-five to forty. Right. When so a few then, years ago. Yeah, right. Yeah. When she took on all that stuff, her hours were increased because we had several part-time or several full-time positions that were only thirty-five hours in this right. building. Yep. And when they put those extra tasks, they gave a bump in pay, but they also increased her from thirty-five hours a week to forty. Yeah. To That's help correct. Her. You know, it helps pay yeah. wise, and it also gave her a little extra time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and she needed the time to get oh, the work done. There's yes. no question. She's very busy, like Fred said, but yeah. they did increase her Every hours. Every time I also. walk in that office, yes, I see it. I definitely don't have to uh, yeah. convince me, but no, no, she's working all the time. There's no yes, question about yeah. it. Right. Yeah, Thank very you. good, Mr. Waddell. No, Set. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, and Ooh. next. She's all getting ready there. Oh, I'm she's ready. ready. I just came back she's up ready. to the table because I figured <laughs> we're the only two left. So oh, okay, here I great. am. Um, first, I will answer Jim's questions from earlier, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, debt at the two million six hundred fifty thousand two hundred forty-two dollars is nine point four percent of the total budget that's in front of you right now, the town manager budget. Um, and according to the MDNA that will be in the audit, our actual debt percent percent of debt allowable right now with the 18 audit was 19%. Um, okay. So we're well within the debt limits. I think that was the, those were the questions that you had. Okay, yeah, because a lot of times <clears throat> people see, you know, what you're paying and think, wow, we're, we're over indebted, you know? Correct. Yeah. Correct. We are not over indebted. Though. Yeah, that's good. So, um, finance budget? I think yeah. it's next. So the finance budget is... $392,613, 2.22%. There's nothing really new in here. The majority yeah. of it is among your, amongst the wage lines. And then there's a little increase in the bank service charges, just to put it more in line with the five-year averages there. So I kind of tried to balance it out. Um, the majority of the positions in 
the finance office are part of a collective bargaining agreement. Actually, all three of them are, with the exception of mine. And so their raises were, have already been voted on by the voters and are part of their collective bargaining. And then um, the non-union would be my increase of whatever the non-union is given yeah. off of the merit line. So that kind of, and then the audit is in there also under finance and it's actually down. We went out to bid, I think, on that last year, Fred? Was it last yes. year? Yes. Yeah. And so um, the price in for next year is 29000 according to the contract mm -hmm. that we signed with the auditors. And that's assuming we'll need a single audit, which I expect we will need single audits for the next several years because that's in <coughs> regards to if you have any aid totaling over $750,000, mm -hmm. then you have to have a single audit. So with all of our SRF yeah. projects that we have coming on the books. I'm guessing okay. we had a single audit for 18, yeah. and I'm guessing we'll continue to have that additional audit piece for the next couple of years, but Red. still the 29,000 should yeah. cover that. Yeah. Mr. Waddell? Nope, it's good. No problem. No. And Regina? No problems, and the audit is still in process? Nope, um, sorry, that was on my update sheet before we got so involved in the tax rate. The audit is done. Um, I received, I left a little early today, um, but right before I left, I received the PDF copy of it. I had a few changes that had to be made, mostly date-wise, but I want to make sure that those are all correct and that my MDNA, because I hadn't seen that yet, but that it had been inserted into the audit properly. Mm -hmm. As soon as that's done, I will send each of you Good. an email with the audit, and then um, the bound copies will be here sometime this week, so I'll put your bound copy into your Excellent. boxes and... Good. Christina's office as soon as they're here, but they should be here this week along with the governance right. letter that you and I were talking about earlier, Regina. And the MDNA is management discussion and analysis. Discussion and analysis, yep. And that, um, like I said, I've written it and we've gone back and forth, but I haven't seen the finished copy, so I wanted to review that before I released it to you because if there's yeah. any typos or anything or yeah. something didn't get inserted correctly, I want to make sure that they fix that before oh, yeah. the audit is oh, yeah. given Perfect. out to the public. Yeah, very good. So, and then if, um, once you guys see the audit, if you wish to have someone from the auditors come in again, they're happy to do that. That's part of yeah. the cost. So we can discuss that at a later date. Thank you very much for mm -hmm. all that you do. Thank we you. We appreciate it.